but you made poetry films. You dabbled in them, you said. Yes, I dabbled, yeah. I did one, and I say enough, because what I did, it, it was a, a music video. It's not the same thing. But uh, the music of the band was just instrumental. There was no vocals. So we asked them to introduce poetry in the middle of the work. Mm -hmm. So it ended up like beginning with poetry, the music. Then we asked the band to make a break in the music because they already had it. Mm -hmm. So we put the poetry in the middle and then in the end. And it was funny because the band really liked it. And now they play this way live. They asked for the recording of the poetry. And then now they put the poetry and then play and put the poetry back. So it was a, it was, it was a very cool thing to do. Why do you ask them for poetry specifically? Why couldn't you just give them, I don't know, a monologue from Shakespeare? <laughs> it's true, it's true. Um, I don't know. I, it was one of the strangest things that happens because I used to... Um, I work a lot of time with a great friend of mine. It's Paulo, but not the Paulo. We know from the jury, it's another Paulo. And uh, when we call, we tell each other, oh, there's a band, they want to do a music video. And I was like, yeah, we should do something extra than the music video. And it was like, yes, I was thinking about putting some text. And I was like, yeah, put some music. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. So it was one of those things that happens at the same time to two persons. <coughs> And that's a sign, we have to do it now. And at the time I was working, and a friend of mine, uh, it was Mara Balbino, just launched a poetry book. And I was like, oh, you write poetry, I didn't know about it. Can I read it? And I read it, and it, will, it had like 10 or 15 poems that could fit well with the music. So it, it was like a cosmic thing. Maybe it came from music. I, I, lost, I, I listened to a lot of instrumental music, it can be like classic and then be rock. And sometimes I make the image in, in my head. Mm -hmm. But this time it was like, hmm, I think I need the words and not only the image. Like in my case, maybe because I also write not poetry, but I write for dude. For the films I, I do, I right. usually write first. Right. Maybe I work that way. But uh, I have a friend that it's uh, opposite to him. He has image on his head. He thinks about the image, or he sees something, he takes the pictures, and then he writes on it. So I think it can be both process, I mm. think. We, we actually like uh, today and a bunch of very different poetry yeah. films. So, yes. so I believe that some of them you can maybe think, okay, it's almost a narrative one. And I think of them you can notice quite well, yeah, yeah, it's a different kind of film. It's not a narrative short film. It's not the music video also. It's mm -hmm. something different. I think in the notice, but I've, they are so, they can be so different. They can mix more genders than just only the poetry film, I think. We, 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 usually to my students, I say there are rules to be broken. Mm -hmm. So, but you have to learn the rules first. So I don't mind if, if there are rules like, the, even in, like they say to yeah. you in poetry, there is the, that rule, okay. Let me run the, learn the rule, and maybe let me defy the rule. So I think in, in the the films we watched today and also yesterday, mm -hmm. there are a lot of the supposed called rules that are broken, but that's a good thing, and it's different. Those rules were broken precisely because maybe the shooting script was based on a poem, or you think it was it was because the guy just said I don't care, but I don't know. I think there are two kinds, maybe like I want to break the rules. Mm. and thirdly find myself as a filmmaker and it is also the I don't care about the rules but usually the people that know the rules of, I think is going to do maybe a better job breaking them because it's not that random per se